This is a deck review for the Ultimate Deck by Dan and Dave and Stranger and Stranger. The box is very nice as you can see. It's got a lot of detail to it. And now for the cards. Here is the back design, which looks pretty awesome I think. The deck is being sold for $25, normally more than I'd be willing to pay, but my curiosity got the better of me. These cards are called the Ultimate Deck, not just because of the artwork on the backs of the cards, but because on the face of every card is a work of art. This is the Ace of Spades. I'll talk about the handling of the cards in just a second, but first I want to show you some of my favorite cards from the deck. This is probably my favorite card in the deck, but there are a lot of good cards in there. Some really nice artwork. This one's kind of like a comic book, I guess. Some weird pattern, six of hearts. Gecko with the pips incorporated, almost like footprints. Looks like some kind of chocolate candies, maybe. Magic! Octopus, squid. I don't know if this is supposed to be Qbert. This one's nice. Another magician type of card. A tortoise. Big skull. And this guy. And these are my least favorite cards. Two cherubs squeezing the blood out of a heart. A little dead boy king stabbing himself. And then a bunch of weird looking animals that I don't really enjoy. They're kind of unpleasant. And this last card which is just kind of an ugly card. To be complete, here are the rest of the cards in quick succession. This guy almost made it into my least favorite pile because it looks like he's just about to go out and murder someone in a tool shed. And here are the extra cards that came with the deck. A spare card. A card with a message about Stranger and Stranger. Here's one of the Jokers. Looks pretty cool. And the other Joker is actually my least favorite card in the deck. This disgusting dog slash hyena with blood dripping off of his papery collar, I don't know, it's just gross. Okay, now let's talk about the handling. Now I did not expect this deck to handle well given how much ink there is on the cards, but I was wrong. The deck handles very well. Fans are nice and smooth. In fact, you can see the design very well because of the thin borders. Here's a face-up fan just so you can see how it looks. It's going to look a little crazy, of course, with all the colors. But uh, yeah, it's very smooth. Spreads nice. And it springs nice too. It looks almost kind of inky and black when it springs. It kind of reminds me of the smoke monster from Lost. I will mention, however, that the deck was traditionally cut, which means that the cards spring easier face up. It just feels a little smoother this way as opposed to face down, like so. At first I had a little bit of difficulty getting the Faro shuffle to work, but after I worked the cards in, it's not such a big deal anymore. 
And now let's take a look at the giant fan on this deck. There it is. It looks alright. It's not my favorite giant fan, but it looks okay. And here's what a face-up giant fan looks like. A little crazy. And La Paul Spreads work surprisingly well with this deck, which I was surprised by as well. As far as doing magic tricks with this deck, there's two things to be aware of. First is, if you have a spectator pick a card and they get, let's say, the Queen of Hearts, they'll remember it. But let's say that instead they had picked the, um, let's say they picked, oh, this card. And they're just going to say, oh, I had the card with the guy's face. Maybe they won't even realize it was the Jack of Clubs. The second thing to be aware of is that from this angle you can see where all the cards are due to their color. Uh, if you're holding the deck face down, it's not an issue because they all look black from the top. Also clearly an upside down card in the deck would stand out. Actually, there is a third reason you may not want to do magic with this deck. Imagine this scenario. Pick a card, any card. This card? Perfect. Don't let me see it. And the spectator's holding the card, and you say, okay, let me have the card back. And they give you the card back like this. Maybe not something you want to do with an expensive deck. In summary, I do recommend this deck. It feels very high quality, both in its handling and in the artwork itself. Well, except for this hideous card.